everyone. Welcome back to another live community classroom with Michaels. We have our friend Marley Bird with us today to make some rainbow string art. My name is Renee L from Your Inspirations and I'll be helping with any questions you might have during today's class. Please feel free to drop your questions in the chat and we'll make sure that Marley answers them. While we're getting ready to kick things off, let us know where you're watching from. Over to you, Marley. Hello, everybody. Can you guys hear me all right? I have my microphone in a little bit of a different location, so I'm hoping you can hear me just fine. Um, Hello, a lot of familiar faces I see here in the room. Um, I don't know if you guys know me. My name is Marley Bird. I am a knitwear and crochet designer. Um, string art is something completely new to me, not in the sense of I've never seen it before, but I've never done it before. So this is gonna be fun for me too. Um, I am just as new as you are as we jump into this. I am gonna follow the instructions from yarnspirations.com and I'm gonna use um, some Karen Simply Soft yarn for my rainbow. And then I thought, I was like, what's what would it look like if I used like a bulky yarn for the cloud? Just thinking, why not? I mean, we're talking art here, right? Like if you guys remember art class, you had some general instructions, but overall you get to have fun with this. So don't be a slave to the instructions, kind of use them as a guide to create an art piece for yourself. Um, the instructions can be found in, is there a link provided Renee? I'm sorry, I'm looking in the chat to see if there's a link yep. for their instructions. Great minds, we are just dropping it now. <laughs> okay, so you guys will be able to follow along with the instructions. And what's important about those is you will get a diagram for where to put the nails in your plank of wood. And that is like super important because that's the whole process of this, right? So what I'm gonna do here, um, first off, I'm gonna say, if you are here, say hello in the chat. Let us know where you're joining from. We're gonna go down to my hands. We're gonna talk a little bit about the piece and what you need for this item. All right, guys. So this is the beautiful piece that Yarnspiration sent me to teach this class. Um, I don't know if you guys know this about me at all, but when people ask me what my favorite color is, I tell them rainbow, because I love all the colors. So the fact that I got a rainbow stringer, I was like, I don't want to send this back to you. Can I keep this? Um, Cause I think it's just really cool. And the, the trickiest part here really is just making sure you fill in as much as the space as possible between all of the nails. Um, but this is the finished sample. What you will notice here, it's a full rainbow. And when you get your instructions, you'll notice that you have two halves of the rainbow. Now I purposely printed this one smaller because I wanted to talk about that. So this here, you can see there's these little asterisk looking pieces. You would want to line those up on top of each other. So what I would do is I would print off this as your form, right? As your, as your guide. And then <clears throat> I would trim this at least one of them. So that way, when you center this on your piece of wood and you can get this piece of wood at Michael's, I found mine at my local Michael's, you line up those little asterisk pieces. So that way they are centered, okay? And now you have your centered rainbow. And so then you would center this on your board. You guys see how that works? Now, one thing you'll notice here, it says one inch square. And what that means here is that this diagram, you wanna make sure that it's printing off so that it's about one inch square. So if you don't do that, it's gonna come out a little bit smaller like this, which is good if you're gonna use a smaller um, piece of wood. But if you are using this big piece of wood, you wanna make sure that you're getting the full size of your rainbow, right? Um, the other cool thing about this, and you're going to see here in a minute what I like, I love that it comes in two because I am doing mine on half of a piece and I'm just doing half of a rainbow. And so you can see here, look at the size difference here. This is a full size right here. And I just put it on a the plank of wood here. Let me see if I can. So this is a wood plank. Um, I don't know if it tells me size or anything. I literally got this at Michael's so you can get yours there as well. And then I put this down and started putting things in. Oh, you can see, we're gonna talk about that a little bit. Um, so this is where we're going to start. So the first thing to do is get your plank of wood, print off your, your pieces of paper. And then I just used some regular old scotch tape 
but I didn't know what else to use. And I just taped my little piece of paper down just so it just stayed in place. And then you'll notice that there are these little dots here. I'm gonna move the other one out of the way. That's kind of a big piece. All right, so you'll notice there are these little dots. And so what you would do is you'll take your nails. Now the instructions, the material list said to get the assorted nail pack from Michaels, and that's what this is. And you'll notice that these ones are much bigger than these ones. And if you look at the back, the ones on top are a two or a one and a half inch finishing nail. And this says a one and a half inch common nail, common nail and finishing nail, but that's two inches and two inches. So these two look like they're a little bit different, but not far enough that you could probably get by using both of those in the same. But I don't think that's enough. I think you're going to need more than one pack. Um, so you need some, some finishing nails and you do want them long enough. So that way, when you're hammering them into your piece of wood, that they're going down into the wood a good amount. Okay. So <clears throat> I grabbed some, let me just put these right here. I am not a woodworker and my hands are extremely important to what I do. And I have a tendency to always hammer a nail and then I will always crush my finger, always. Like it never fails. I, it even happened on here. Um, but I got a nice small little hammer here at my um, hard good, hardwood, hard good, hard, hardwood, hardware. That's the word, hardware store. Um, and this is just, it's real easy to handle and it's good for this little project, all right? So what you're going to do, get it centered, put your nail on one of the dots. And I want to talk about this just real quickly. You'll notice that on this piece of wood, it has like these like uh, separated planky areas, right? So when you're looking on here, you'll notice that some of the dots will hit that plank where the wood is split apart, like even on the other side, let me put this. Like this is really just two pretty solid pieces, but this right here, obviously is, is separated. So I tried, you can see here, I have a nail that's constantly falling out. I tried to center my piece of paper to where I wouldn't have a nail in one of these, these crack areas, but the nature of this particular design, it just didn't like, you, there's a couple that are in those cracks. So it is what it is, but just kind of be aware of that as you're, you're measuring yours up. But this is really all it is. Um, because you're trying to keep them all about the same height, I was just counting how many swings I did. And I don't know if that's right, guys. Just bear with me. I was like, I think I did five. One, two, three, four, five. And it's about the same height. All right. So I'm just going to fill in these little ones that I have going on here. And just so you guys have an idea of how long that all took me, it took me about 15 minutes just to get that. So it wasn't a long time, but again, this is only half of the rainbow. Can I tell you something? So I went to Michael's to buy this and I knew I was making a rainbow. So I was like, Skittles, taste the rainbow. <laughs> so I bought them at Michael's because I was like, because, <laughs> you know, that's marketing works, man. Those, those little, like the checkout line at Michael's. <laughs> Not included in the pattern, but helpful. Not included in the pattern, but hey. <laughs> helpful to fuel you through the project. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I could be like, I just needed to see what the colors of the rainbow were, honey. Um, <laughs> I thought it was great. I was like, this is awesome. All right. So I have all of those in there. I hope that wasn't too loud in your guys' ears. I'm sorry if it was, um, but it's the nature of this particular design, right? So um, side note, totally love this little hammer because I'm not like whacking myself and it's just easy to handle for this little project. But that's where that is, okay? Now I chose to put the nails through the actual piece of paper because I thought it was easier that way than trying to go through and like do like a pin prick through all of those spots and then take the, the paper off and then go back and find the pin pricks with my, my nails. That's just too much work for me. Um, so at this point, you want to remove your paper. So we're gonna see how well I can remove this piece of paper without like having all the nails pop up. We're gonna try this together. And for you at home, I mean, I'm certain that you probably are not done with yours yet, but you can just kind of 
kind of glance up and see what I'm doing as we're working along together. All right, so what I thought, I thought I would cut this a little bit and just try and take it off in sections. I don't know, uh, maybe I can rip it. We're gonna try, we're just gonna try this. We're gonna give this a whirl. Unless this is some sort of like heavy duty paper, we should be good. Like I said, you could just go through and just use like a, a pencil or something to mark your marks and then do your nails that way. Not gonna lie, there's something satisfying about this. <laughs> oh, there's one nail, we had one catastrophe. Oh, and look, it was the one that was right there in that little crack. So it's just not wanting to stay there. We're gonna hope it stays well. <clears throat> At Michael's, they had different types of boards. They had ones that looked like this where they were like kind of planks and they had some that were fairly solid. So you could try one of the different ones if you wanted to. You don't have to get one of these here that um, looks like the planks of wood. Mm -hmm. There's so many ways to customize this as well by picking like whichever wood you like or mixing up yeah. the colors. Well, and I think once you get the concept of how this works, um, like when I was at Michael's, I was looking through some of like the coloring book sections and I was like, <laughs> what else could I use? I'm gonna use my tapestry needle here to pull that up. <laughs> Sorry guys. Obviously this takes a little bit of time, but hey, we're doing art here, people. <laughs> Trust the process. Trust the process. It's so funny to me because I'm not really an artsy type of person. I mean, which sounds funny because I knit and crochet all the time, right? But this is this is a challenge for me. Like this is a little bit outside of my box. I like it. But I love little... that we can like, you know, yarn. That's something that we're very familiar with, but we can sort of challenge ourselves and do something a little bit scary, but right. fun. Right, right. I love it. Yeah, it's different for sure. All right. I'm just trying to rip this in such a way that I don't rip up my nails off the board. You know what I mean? That is very important, everyone. Protect yeah. your nails because it hurts to crochet or make crafts if your nails are hurting. All right, all right, all right. Get this little piece up. <laughs> I just leave it. That is my design feature. <laughs> okay. So now I'm looking at this. I'm like, what, what? Like <laughs> where the rainbow go, <laughs> right? It looks tricky. So <clears throat> that's where the second one comes in handy. You can kind of use it as your guide. Does that make sense? Um, this, at least this is my idea. This is what I thought is what I would do is just use this as a, if I needed help. All right. So on the pattern, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's on the PDF that uh, you guys were given. You'll see that there is a, um, correct me if I'm wrong, they have they have the one where it shows like the yarn set up with all the colors and stuff. They got like that part. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, okay. So, so we dropped in a Dropbox. So they have the PDF and then okay. also all those diagrams in a separate folder. All right, cool. Um, am I allowed to do a screen share? Can I do a screen share? You sure can. I can. All right. I'm going to do a screen share real quick just so we can see, everybody can see what I'm talking about here. So this right here, you guys, this is in um, what Renee just said was the Dropbox folder. And so you can see here, this is a nice little diagram with the idea of what the string is going to be set up as. This is like the setup part. We're going to go zigzag along the... Um, the the ray of the rainbow and then on our way past back we do a different pass let me see it's this one nope i can't find it um no i just had the instructions all right here it is so what you were just looking at is you were looking at this vertical fill first pass it's like the zigzag and as we go over to each one of these nails, we don't just want to come up and just come around it. We're going to circle around each one as we go. Um, I'm not going to be real particular, making sure I go the same direction on everything. I probably should, but 
I'm guessing that there are a lot of you out there who are like me who are just like, okay, let's let's get around this and see where it goes. Um, once we do that for the first pass, the second pass, we do sort of these longer V's. We don't go into each one. And it's because we're trying to fill in all of that negative space, all that white space between. And we'll do that a couple times. And when all that is done, we outline the entire um, rainbow bit with with an outline. Now, what I'm gonna do here, so I'm gonna stop my screen share. Maybe if I can find, there it is. It's on my other screen. All right, stop my screen share. So on the sample here, I can see they did the outline on the outside a couple times. And I can see the outline on the, the inside only once for the red, but then it's a couple times for the this, um, orange color here, right, on the outside and only once on the inside because then the yellow goes on top. So it's really like the outline for whatever color you're using on top is the one that's really gets um, defined the most. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah? All right, so on that same piece of paper, there is a starting point where it says A, B starting point. And so that's what we're going to do. And this is what I'm talking about is the zigzag picture I just showed you. So I'm going to start with my color A, which is the red. And it says to tie it on to the AB starting point, which would be, let's see, it's not that, where are we here? So looks like it's this one here. Man, it's really hard to see, but it would be on the other side because I did the other side of the rainbow. So this, this is this side of the rainbow, right? But the pattern wants you to start over here at this AB starting point, but I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start over here at this AB starting point. So just like opposite, opposite side. So I'm gonna start right here. Does that make sense? And it says just to tie it on. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm just gonna leave a nice long tail that I can just get rid of later if I need to. looks right. Okay. So based on this path here, we're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, so on and so forth. So this is my outside here. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to my in frame. I'm going to go up. I'm going to circle around. I'm gonna go down, looks like it's not this one, but it looks like it's over here, right? Or is it this one? Might be that one. We're gonna go that one. And up, and I, I mean, I could be circling this way more than I need to, I don't know. Like I said, I feel like, oh, maybe that's better. So like a figure eight, that's not gonna stay, hold on. Oh, I lost them. And we're going to go back. Everybody's so quiet. You're quiet. Lady. There is a lawnmower in my neighborhood, and I'm not sure if y'all can hear. So if I'm a little quiet, that is why. <laughs> I'm just trying to hold my tension. Ooh, the nails. Keep your hammer close, y'all. Let me know if I'm out of frame at all, you guys, because I am not looking at the camera at all. That nail is going to be a problem. Okay, so we're at the end. I'm gonna hammer this one. Ooh, that one too. Okay, so I'm at the end. And then this is where we would do our long, our long path back. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab some more yarn here. I'm gonna just come over here. See how when I cross this over, it fills in this gap right there. So I'm gonna come over there and fill that in. Come over here and fill this in. Should I go this way? Fill that in. Fill that in. 
Oh, goodness. Keep a hold of it. <laughs> Am I, did I go too short there? I don't know. It'll be all right. It's art. Okay, so that would be the end. So this would, I'm gonna come over here like this. All right, so they've said that they did it twice. So what I'm gonna do, what if I filled it in like that? I'm gonna come up here. Because really the goal of this guys like what's no matter what pattern we go into the goal is that we want to just fill in as much as the white space as possible right because we want to have that really look red so i'm just trying to fill it in i'm not really even going in a steady pattern so that gives you permission to not go in a steady pattern <laughs> if you don't want to let me try this I really want to go. Oh, didn't mean to hit the board. I'm sorry. <laughs> Absolutely. Like the patterns are kind of a guide on how to get us there. But if you find, you know, a little technique that helps you fill in the white space a little better that you like better, go with that. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah, <laughs> if let you us are know. trying, if you're working along with us and you're like, hey, try this. I am all ears, y'all. I'm just going to try and fill this in. I just want it to look pretty, you know, just like everybody else. That's my biggest thing is I don't know, I don't know what, like to me, I would be, I would be going back and forth on each one, but I mean, I'm not sure if that's, maybe I go down more, I don't know. I'm just going to do one more little pass here, not even going around the nails so much. All right, and it says to end end back where you started and then tie oh look that one kind of goes and fills some gaps like i want a nail right there but i don't have one all right oh gosh darn it we tend to use colorful language make sure you're doing this away from kids <laughs> you lose your you lose your yarn all right, so it says to tie it down here to this where your tail is. Goodness, you want to keep it tight. So how do you do that? Wrap it around more. All right, hold on. I'm going to cut this. Oh, I didn't go around the outline. Gosh darn it. Now I'm going to have another end. Renee, you're supposed to stop me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to blame somebody else. No, no, no. I just, I forgot. I got so tied up with this. Get it tied up. <laughs> all right. So maybe that's better anyways. Maybe because now I don't have to worry about it all unraveling. Right. So I'm just going to push it down just a little. How are we looking? Doesn't look bad. I feel like there's I think a gap good. there, but it's all right. Okay, so now we got. I have to do an outline. All right, so let me do an outline. Maybe I'm gonna tie the outline. I'm gonna just tie it right here, just to see why not. So I don't have too many knots down there at the other end. <laughs> ah. This is a little tricky with nails, by the way. <laughs> Okay, so an outline, I think we're just literally supposed to go around each one, just like this. And like I said, on this top half on the sample, it went around twice. Oh, who's working along with me? I'm just curious, anybody? You're probably like, that's why I'm not typing is because my hands are full because I don't want to let go of my yarn like you keep doing. <laughs> you done this before, Renee? I 
haven't. I've been meaning to give it a try. Like there's some patterns for like a map I thought would be really cute. I really like this one as well. Um, we got some really great little tips for folks. Uh, Tina, let us know that if you're removing the paper um, in the earlier stage, that tweezers could be very helpful so that we don't wreck our nails. Yes. Good <laughs> idea. Yeah. And then uh, Diane said, clothes pins are also really great when hammering. Lay your little hammer on the strings before you tie the ends. Lay your hammer on the strings. Before. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a great tip. Um, Kajari said, when I was in high school, I had to do a 3D project of the human digestive tract. I did it in string art. I love oh that. Oh my gosh. She That's should amazing. be teaching this class. That's awesome. <laughs> That is so cool. I'm super jealous of that. Right. Sorry, I know it was a long time ago, but if you have a photo, you should be showing that to everybody. That is phenomenal. Yeah, that is so cool. All right, so I'm gonna duck around this twice. Snip. All right, let's tie this here. I'm not gonna lie, if this comes out decent, I'm gonna be so proud of myself, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so proud of myself oh I will be happy to not use this nail anymore that keeps popping out I hammered it in how many times gosh darn it I'm gonna hammer this nail in cover your ears Cut. all right how are we looking Tell me, just looks, just tell me it looks beautiful. So I tell my husband, just tell me it looks beautiful. <laughs> I think it looks great. And side note, we could not hear the hammer. So don't worry. You were oh, not good. ruining our ears. <laughs> Cause it's very loud over here. Really? It's, we can't hear it at all. Oh, wow. Really? That's crazy. It's so loud. Okay. <laughs> Woo. One down. Anybody else want to take a break? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Any questions so far? I don't know if I can even answer any, uh, that many, but, um, I'm going to move on to the orange. Cause I'm guessing like it's easy, you know, they've put it in order of, um, outside moving in. So I'm just going to go in that same order and, you know, we're using Karen simply soft, but really you could use any yarn you might have lying around at the house for this. I know that, um, there's a lot of different yarns out there. You could give a try. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to pull out, I'm going to have, I have guts in here getting ready to pull out. You get a suggestion of using maybe a fluffier yarn if you want more fill in your mm -hmm. rainbow that would definitely mm -hmm. be one way to do it that's why I was thinking if I use the bulky for maybe the this bit down here for the so clouds that, yeah for the clouds that would be fun I, it's that's um, you know why not it's art it's art <laughs> okay I feel like we're having a very Bob Ross moment of the happy <laughs> little trees and which is funny because Bob Ross was from I think Muncie or Fort Wayne or something which is just up the road for me really <clears throat> yeah okay so on the instructions it says that a and b start at the same place obviously on the other side so it would start right here also because we're going to be using these same nails here that a used for our b so that really finicky nail, that one right there. Um, so I've got to tie it here. Uh, because of that, I am curious if, because I have some, nah, we're going to tie it down here like it's so those too. We're just going to tie it. I'm going to, I'm going to leave an even longer tail this time, y'all. Like I left a long tail last time, but I'm going to leave it even longer. Okay. So here we go. This one, it says we go around this here and we come here. So we come here and then we start making our way up. I'm doing it like a figure eight. That seemed to work well for me last time. Oh, look at this. I'm moving. Maybe I shouldn't say anything. <laughs> Jinx myself. Uh, this is definitely something you could do with an older kid, as long as you did the nail portion. If you got it set up with the nails, you could do this with an older child. All right, so now we come along.
I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to come down here. That looks good so far, right? I forgot to do the figure eight. That one wants to come out. It's so quiet. Marley, have you ever made anything rainbow, but like in slightly different shades, just slightly off or different? Yes. Um, I, I, I guess it wouldn't be rainbow at that point, but more like, um, like a gradient of colors. Like I've went from like, uh, like a gradient of red down to pink, you know what I mean? Or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but when I tell you I love rainbow, it's, I mean, it's so real. I think I am picking, like I'll go and I'll pick colors off of a website and I'm like, oh, I'll get this really pretty, like mustardy yellow color. And then I'll just be like, oh, I'll get this color. And then I'm, I'm, by the time I'm done, when I think I've gotten a variety of colors, by the time I get the box in the mail and I lay them all out, I have gotten a rainbow is what I've gotten. Like I didn't, I didn't order them in a rainbow, but by when it's all said and done, I've ordered a rainbow. Um, <laughs> and it's just, it, I really, I really, really think my brain just gravitates towards that. Like it always wants to go to rainbow. Like um, I don't really do a whole lot of designs in browns or grays I mean I try to because I force myself to but if I have my druthers I'm picking a color like I am picking bright colors um it used to be that purple was my favorite color even though I never wear purple uh, it used to be pink is my favorite color I do wear pink but now it's really I just love color so I joked around with my daughter one day and told her that my favorite color was rainbow and it just has kind of stuck since then because I just really do enjoy the rainbows. I like rainbows a lot. I, I mean, anybody else here remember Rainbow Bright from the 80s? Like, I loved Rainbow Bright. <laughs> and all the Care Bears, when they would line up and they were all in there, just hues of like all the different hues of the colors. And I just loved that. <laughs> and their Care Bear stare, it was a rainbow. <laughs> Everything is a rainbow. And then of course, Skittles. I mean, we can, can't forget about the Skittles. So, all right. Yeah, it's just like joy. It's just pure joy. It is pure joy. Like when you find a rainbow after a rainfall and you're just like, oh, it's so beautiful. I don't know. Rainbows bring me joy. I feel you. I okay. also like this orange because it's looking a bit more of a coral orange in the lighting that we're looking at rather it than is. a super bright one. And it works. I love it's it. It's true. It's persimmon. Mm -hmm. what it's called it's definitely not like orange orange it's not like um like bronco orange for sure all right what did the person say to put my hammer on the end um oh, or a clothes pin I don't think I have a clothes pin like to pin it you know what I mean oh, that's layer a little hammer idea. on the strings before you tie the ends that's a good idea but I don't think my ends are long enough I was hoping maybe I had like a I want a clip like a bobby pin work I don't know if that'll work or not but we're gonna try it so I just stuck a bobby pin there <laughs> to everything set. next time I do this I will use clothes pins oh my gosh I've never had so much trouble okay I can't talk and tie a knot apparently okay sorry sorry <laughs> oh goodness Okay. That seemed to work. Hey, 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 All right. Yay. Um, so the instructions just say to clip these tight or clip these short. I mean, and then it said you could dab some glue on them if you want to for security. I'm just gonna clip them short real quick just to get them out of the way. And I don't know how short it was. That's 
as a knitter or crocheter, that was very difficult to do everybody without weaving in my ends. I just want everybody to appreciate the struggle that that was. <laughs> <laughs> I really admire your restraint. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm just going to snip that one too. <laughs> okay. How are we looking? I'm looking at the screen. That doesn't look bad. It's not terrible. All right. So how are we doing on time? Do I do the yellow or do I attempt to do this to kind of see what it would look like? What do you think? I think we should try the cloud. Let's go for it. The cloud, let's give it a whirl. Okay. And I have no idea, guys, if this is going to work or not. This was just, and it's not even like a white, white, but I thought it was just fun because it's kind of that creamy white, like it's a creamy white cloud. Um, but we'll try it. If it doesn't look good, we can take it off. All right. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. I'm just looking at the chat here. Um, are you laying the string on the board or higher up on the nails? It's kind of somewhere in between, hey? So I have it close up to the top of the nails. You have the star, can you guys see that? Yeah. And then as I go around, I'm pushing it down. That's a very good question, by the way. Mm -hmm. So as I go, I'm like, I'm just nudging it down a little bit. Especially in here where those particular nails are double layered, you know? And as I go along here, these ones are all gonna be double, triple layered because they're gonna have the yellow on them and these ones down here like they're going to also have white on them so they really get full so that's where you really want to make sure your nails are in there really solid okay um on the diagram on the other other uh side it says to start it right here so i'm um, just it just says to start filling in that's all i'm going to do i'm just going to start filling in i'm just going to go because you can see the outline of the cloud. Now, here's the tricky thing. If I do it now, it's going to be underneath these colors when I go to do those colors. Like, you should do the cloud last for that very reason. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To be on top of the, the colors. All right, we're just going to do it for funsy, and then I can, I can, did you like that, funsies? And then I can <laughs> just take it off, and I'll do, I'll finish it, because I want, I want this. So, all right, let's just see. <laughs> Let's just see here how this would look. Um, and then it has it skip all of this and like come up here to this one. I have no idea. Oh, look how full that looks. I think I like how full that looks. Yeah, that looks great. If you wanted to do this like in a rush, you certainly yeah could do the entire thing in a heavier yarn you might like depending on what the yarn is you might have a few less shade selections if it's more of like yeah. a sweater type of yarn but yeah I mean look how full this looks just even I mean I'm not even I'm just going willy-nilly I'm why not I'm gonna go around that one I don't know I'm just filling in filling <laughs> in the spots we're coloring in with yarn. <laughs> yeah, exa exactly. That's what it feels like, honestly. It feels like I'm just kind of coloring, coloring it all in. Just fill it in. I think like the specialness of this is that the pattern might be like the pattern, like the the particular shapes it's making might be a little bit chaotic. And that's kind of the beauty in it. That's sort of what makes it rustic and interesting. Yeah, it's just because otherwise pattern. you would just embroider. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna I'm just go over here. I just want to see what this looks like. I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. The big fluffy yarn with I like, like it. The more delicate yarn up here for the I really like it. It really gives the illusion of a big fluffy cloud. I wonder if you could even use like um uh the Huga fur yarn and stuff, like the furry type yarn. Mm -hmm. would be like a real fuzzy cloud that'd be very pretty I like totally that. I like that all right so I'm gonna I'm, so you guys can see what that looks like I'm gonna do the yellow now <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do the yellow and look how easy it is to rip it out you guys <laughs> the easiest frogging ever <laughs> easiest frogging ever ever all right I can't see the comments I have the screen all right how are we doing Okay. Somebody says they recall doing this in school. I did it in vacation Bible school. Um, 
I remember doing something like this in vacation Bible school as a kid. Oh yes, everybody, I like, they like the bulky too. That means I like the bulky too. I think it looks good. And it hides the knots. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go to the yellow. What are some other ideas? I was thinking like you could do a heart, you could do like a puppy dog. Obviously you could do a digestive system. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how ambitious you are. Uh-huh. I think you could make like a really nice little like stick house situation. Um, uh -huh. That would look really cute. Yeah. Like a home sweet home. You could do yeah. obviously do letters if you wanted to print off like block, block letters and spell out somebody's name, like maybe a baby. Or I love that. Like a, a new baby. Sandy said you could do a flower. Absolutely. You oh, could yeah. definitely like you could make it really simple or you could make it really complicated. It, like you yeah. could do a lot with flowers and leaves in particular. Yes. All right. So the yellow, you guys, it looks like from the diagram, it has me going over this same like nail point a couple times. Um and then it has me come here and then come back up here and then come back around. You see what I mean? Like get that curve. I'm not explaining myself very well. So I'm going to have you rely on being able to see what I just did. <laughs> so like right here, cause we have to have that curve point. So you have to go over that nail several times to go around that curve. I keep forgetting to twist the yarn around the nail. So apparently if you don't do it, it's not the end of the world. Just so you guys know. I'm gonna skip that one. And wraps in the time. Um, is anybody else working along with me? Did we ask that? I think I keep wondering if anybody else is. Yeah, please let us know in the chat if you if your hands are free for a second, if you are working with us or if you're just watching to maybe work on it later. Yeah which is fine if that's what you're doing too. Yeah, just make sure you tag us. We'll give all the, the ats and the hashtags afterwards, but we really, really do love to see what projects you guys are working on. Yeah, I love that. Um, oh, 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 already fail. All right, where was that? Here maybe? I let go too soon. Maybe there, or I think I go up there. Right now, I'm really just trying to like look and see how I can fill in some gaps. I'm not following any particular pattern, which can I just tell you guys a secret? That's why I became a designer is because I couldn't follow other people's patterns <laughs> because I would start to, and then I'd be like, well, what if I did this? And then by the end, it was, it wasn't even like the same piece. So I was like, you know, I should really just do my own patterns. I relate to that. I think that is like a very specific creative instinct of this doesn't exist or I'm having trouble with what's out there. So I, you know, I learn yeah. a bit of the basics and I make my own. <laughs> yeah. That's just kind of what happened with me. All right. So I'm kind of I feel like, do you see any blank spots? I'm gonna look at the screen. I feel like it's blank there, but I don't know how, maybe right up there. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Now I'm going to start going around the outline. I'm going to push these down as I go. You really want to make sure that you've hammered in your nails well because um, you're really putting a lot of pressure on them 
with the yarn. I know that sounds funny, but as you are doing it, there's a lot of uh, force, not friction. There's a lot of pull on, on all of it. You know what I mean? You put some tension, some stress on tension. it. Tension, yeah. Several years ago, Red Heart Yarns did a string art thing for I Love Yarn. It said I Love Yarn. It was all in string art. It was so pretty. It looks good. I only did it once, though. Let me, I'm not going to do this. It was like a part of the um, I Love Yarn Day sort of stuff for Craft Yarn Council. I can't wait. I love, I love yarn day. <laughs> it's, it's fun. All right. So I'm just going to come and make my way back. So here and tie my knot. All right. So we're going to try this again. So far. My little hair clip works well. This is a very different Michael's class for me because usually I'm talking a lot and giving a lot of instructions, but for this, it's just a lot of do. Um, word to the wise, the bobby pin works wonders. <laughs> it's like, yes. Not bad. Anybody, anybody say anything yet? Um, we have a lot of folks that are watching for later, which I think is great. Perfect. Because we're testing things out. So now they know yeah. that they can test things out. Yeah. Um, green's next, right? Yeah. And here we go. All right, I'm gonna start it down here. Wasn't it's not too bad, guys. I mean, like I said, I, I, it only took me 15 minutes to get the nails in for half of this, for half of the rainbow. So it wasn't super bad. Like I said, though, if you have nails, like fingernails, it is a little tricky. So should you wear golfing gloves <laughs> <laughs> or gardening gloves? Gardening gloves. It's more of tricky to get your fingers not caught you know, mm. in all the, the spare nails that are sticking up from the board. Um, go all the way over. Um, all the way over. Um, where, where do we wanna go? I feel like it should come all the way over here. Not bad. It doesn't look terrible. I think it looks really great. And I think this yeah. is like a really good, pretty quick gift idea, honestly. It's not too bad. Not too bad. I will tell you, I'm having more fun than I expected to have because I am a little bit type A, just a little bit, not a ton. Um, but the inconsistency of the wrapping drives me crazy a little bit. Um, but at the same time, I knew that if I tried to be consistent with my wrapping as I'm doing this, I would never get it done because it would take me much longer. So it could be some of you out there are just like, you know, I would make sure I'm wrapping the same direction, the same way, the same path for every single rainbow. And you could do that. I mean, that's fine. That's what the sample does too. But 
uh, you don't have to. I think that's a bigger takeaway is it doesn't mm-hmm. have to, it doesn't have to be. You choose that's... your own adventure. There's yeah. as much chaos or as much order as you choose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's far quick, more quick, more quicker. My English language is obviously not doing so hot. <laughs> um, it's far faster than I thought it would be, especially as you get down here to these little ones. Okay. Like the little, whatchamacallit. Oh yeah, that's brilliant. Whoever said to do that, thank you. I know you said to do it with a clip, but that's like, it's like brilliant. Cause I'd still probably be tying the orange right now. <laughs> okay. That was our friend Diane with the hammer trick. Okay, Diane, you are the winner of the show because that was such a good idea. (laughs) She also noted if you left the strings at the top, they could be kind of like tassels for the rainbow, which is interesting. You could add a texture component. Yeah, that is such a good idea because I love tassels and I love love pom-poms and rainbows. I'm so... I just love that stuff. Sorry, I wanted to make sure it's all covered. My nails are all covered on the board. Yeah, that doesn't look terrible. Now here's something you might be like, oh, why does that look like it's cut in? Remember, we're only doing half of this, half of the um, the rainbow. So on that particular row, that that dot is in more. So I probably could have added one there since I was just doing one, but um, that's why that looks like it's like in in set a little bit more. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Blue. So I don't have simply soft blue, so I'm grabbing a different blue, but I think it'll work. Um, let's see here. you know what else you could do if you didn't want to do a rainbow is you could take like um get like a Karen cake and take the colors apart of the Karen cake and do each one as a different color of the Karen cake Ooh, I love that I'm, I love the idea of taking predestined colors apart like that um like predetermined I should say uh no I don't want to that. And you know, it'll look great because normally in, you know, those colors are chosen very specifically yes. in a yarn to, to yes. work together. Yes. And that's what I was, that's what I was trying to say before I stopped to think is when you do things like that, colors that are curated to be a particular style together, um, you know, they're going to look great. So it just makes the decision-making process easier um, in my opinion. So I love to take that kind of stuff apart. Oh gosh, you see, I'm having a tricky time here with putting my nails as we're getting down here to the smaller bits. I guess you go there. Uh, I'm just kind of like, do do do. That's probably good. Oh, gosh. Very proud of myself for keeping, keeping my cool. Things come undone. I'm like, darn it. Oh gosh, look, do it again. Oh, okay. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. We're gonna, here we go. Maybe this one just doesn't wanna be wrapped around. So we're not gonna wrap around that one. We're just gonna go on the outside of it. Gonna go on the outside of it, push these down a little bit. 
outside of it. Um, I doubt any of my friends here, you guys are joining us from Florida that's getting hit by um, Hurricane Ian. Um, hopefully you are safe. And we're calling that good. Ah, <laughs> hopefully you are safe. Oh my gosh, why? You see that? Did you see that come undone? Mm -hmm. Had it really good. Can I wonder just... if the bobby pin, like to hold it. Where did it go? There we go. The multi tool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Put that in your materials list. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it almost did it again. This happened to my husband, he would be down by now. <laughs> <laughs> like, nope, this doesn't want to be that way. All right, so we're going to move this down here. Anybody else feel like they're holding their breath as you go and I could do this? <laughs> so I feel like I'm holding my breath. All right, this is just getting a one line. I'm not doing two lines. I think it looks good. Okay. Good answer, Renee. Good answer. I think it looks great. You like <laughs> have the consistent kind of cross weaving. Like if you like kind of zoom out mentally and look at the piece, it makes yeah. sense. It all makes okay. sense. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, that was a lot of work for that one. <laughs> I know it sounds silly. Oh, it does look good. I see yeah. it. Yeah, it's real cute. Well, hot darn, that's really cute. All right. Well, I know we're about up on time. Um, is there are there any last minute questions anybody should have or could have, might have? Um I don't see any questions in the chat at the moment, um, but we got like a lot of good commentary and tips from folks, which I have copied and pasted for my own use. So thank yeah, you everyone thank you. so much for all thank those. You. Thank you for that. Um, Sandy, yes, the cloud is white. We were testing around with a slightly bulkier yarn for the cloud. Yes. Um, but yeah, typically it would be white uh, in Karen Simply Soft. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. I, I need to I need to push these down and have a little time. But yes, the the white is what the cloud is. So I'll show you the sample one more time. That's the finished. That's what it looks like. So the white down here is not nearly as filled in as what it looked like with the big bulky. Um, so do what you will, guys. But I mean, super super easy. I don't know if I made it look easy or not. I tried, <laughs> but it is super easy um, to do all this. Um, if you want to go back to my face, hello, everybody. Um, what do you think? Is this something you want to try? Is this something you're like, okay, now that I've seen it done, I know I don't want to do it. <laughs> or, or is this something you're like, okay, I'm going to head to Michael's right now and grab these items. Um, I went to my Michael store this morning and grabbed the board and the nails because I had all the yarn. I just didn't have the board and the nails. Um, let's see here. There's a question in there about the transcript, guys. Um, I don't know if you guys want to answer that one. Um, um, you mean I might know more about the transcript, but what I personally do is in the chat, if you were on a computer, um, you can go to the three little dots and go to save chat. So sometimes when there's like really great tips that folks have shared, I'll just save it and then it saves to a folder on my computer. Awesome. Um, not sure about the transcript though. <laughs> cool. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me. Again, my name is Marley Bird. If you um, like the way I teach, <laughs> um, especially if you're a knitter and crocheter, please come and join me on the Marley Bird YouTube channel. Um, I'm also an ambassador for Yarn Inspirations Yarn. So if you follow them and I teach a lot of classes here at Michael's. So if you follow them, chances are you're going to find me someplace. Um, as you make your project, please be sure to tag us. Use hashtag Yarnspo, hashtag make it with Michael's, or if you want to tag me, hashtag Marley bird or on instagram i'm the marley bird so you could tag me there that's it for me all right guys awesome thanks so much um
as Marley said, don't forget to share your work with hashtag make it with Michaels and hashtag Yarnspo, and that's Y-A-R-N-S-P-O. Um, it's it's odd, so I like to spell it out where possible. Um, yeah. We love to see your projects. We would love to see what you guys come up with for this, because there was a lot of good ideas on how to modify it. Um, so make sure you post, make sure you tag us. Um, and just a reminder that you can find more classes on michaels.com and the recording of today's class at michaels.com slash classes. All right. Thanks, y'all. Bye. Bye.